We're at the 142nd Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Launched in 1877, it is America's second longest continuously held sporting event behind the Kentucky Derby. To fully grasp Westminster's place in history, it predates the invention of the light bulb, the automobile, the zipper, the building of the Brooklyn Bridge, basketball, and the establishment of the World Series in baseball. There are some 2,800 dogs here all competing for that most coveted award in the dog show world, best in show at Westminster. So let's go meet some of the handlers and owners and also see some of the personalities of these purebred dogs. We're at the Westminster Dog Show, 142 years now. Now tell me, who is this? This, this dog is named Blue. He's an old English sheepdog. His registered name is Grand Champion Silver Dandelions Blue Thunder. And tell me about Blue. Uh, Blue is from Southern California. He is four years old. He weighs 92 pounds. And he lives at home <laughs> with two Siberian Huskies. Oh, I love you. He loves people. He's I not shy. <laughs> he loves people. And tell me about the grooming of a dog like this. This is a double-coated breed, so when you groom the dog, you have to groom all the way down to the skin. This dog has a very harsh outer coat and a soft undercoat. So it's very water repellent. To groom out a dog, I would say take at least an hour and a half to two hours once a week. It, this is a high maintenance dog. This is a high maintenance and uh, sheds? No, they don't shed. They're oh, like okay. poodles and Bichon Frises. They mat, which is why it's important to uh, brush oh, the dog down okay. to the skin. A lot of people who keep them as pets keep them in what's called puppy cut, which is an inch and a half to two inches of coat. Okay. And that would mean taking the dog to the groomers every four to six weeks. All right. And outdoors? Uh, this dog has 24-hour access to the house. He prefers to sleep outside at night. We live in Southern California, so it's not very cold, but he likes the cold. Oh, he likes the he cold. He likes the cold. So you uh, like it outside. Oh, you must be loving New York, huh? Look and in the summertime eyes. when it's hot, he sleeps. We have uh, tile throughout most of the house, uh -huh. and the dogs all have their individual fans. So he loves to sleep in front of a fan on the floor. He likes a fan on the floor. He does. Cuddly dog type? He's a very cuddly dog. But he also carries a lot of water in his beard. So when he's been drinking uh -huh. and he's coming towards you and he's, his face is wet, uh, it, it, it's just like a tidal wave. <laughs> what will they be looking for? Uh, what they'll be looking for, in, in, in the judge's opinion, how closely the dog conforms to the AKC breed standard. Uh, a standard on the Old English Sheepdog, he is big for an Old English, he's 27 inches tall, but we have no upper limit on size. And this dog is 27 inches tall and 27 inches long, and the breed standard specifically say, states a square dog, and he is square. He has good leg, um, the judge will look at his bite, his head, the overall coat texture, movement, and compare that in their mind to the other dogs and in the ring and whatever one the judge picks is the one that wins today. Oh, well good luck there. Thank you very much. And this is Blue's first year to be invited to Westminster. He finished number four in the country in Old English Sheepdogs last year. And we're very, very happy to be here. Oh, this is your first year here. This is his first year with, his invi with, an invitation. with the invitation. With the invitation. So that makes it oh, special. Oh, so what a special year. It has been. Well, good luck there. Thank you. Those big eyes, huh? He does. They have big round eyes. They have small ears given the size of the dog. And they have no tail. Their tails are docked when they're three days old. The very so Yes, you can pet them if you like. <laughs> That's, he's, he's wonderful with children, he's wonderful with people. Thank you. Oh, see. Well, thank you so and he's much. good with other dogs. Yeah, oh, he is good he's with, good other, with dogs. other dogs. He lives with two Siberian Huskies. Oh, okay. And, uh, so all your dogs like to go outside. They do, yeah. <laughs> we live in the mountains north of Los Angeles. In at, the mountains? At 4,000 feet above sea level. So this is the big, we live in the, literally in the middle of nowhere. So, <laughs> so he, he's enjoying life in the big city and he's having a good time. 
He went to visit relatives this weekend. Um, to, my aunt is an assistant living in New Jersey, and we've no, he's not a service dog. He's not a trained therapy dog. But we were allowed to bring the dog in to visit, and I was concerned about how he would do because being around people in wheelchairs and walkers was absolutely fabulous. He went and saw my aunt and all the other, the administrator came by and said, let's take him to see all the other residents in the home and did a fabulous job. Well, maybe you have another career. Maybe another career, a yes. A career here. Yes. Uh-oh. I could see where you could make people happy. He does. The sheepdogs are just, they're big goofy dogs. And so many people had these as children in the 1960s. That it's the type of dog that people are just drawn to because of the coat and, the, yeah. and just the look on the dog. Of course, the general public generally only sees these guys when they're clean. They haven't seen them when they've been running <laughs> in the rain. So they don't always look like this. <laughs> and when you wash him, it takes about a good 15 minutes to get him completely wet. The water just rolls off of them. They're pretty water repellent. And to dry the dog in New York, if I gave him a whole body bath, it would probably take at least three to four hours. Oh, really? Yesterday, I just washed his whites, and it took two hours to dry. Because there's so much more humidity in the air here than where we live. I know. My hair today looks yeah. terrible because of the <laughs> humidity. humidity. Yeah. <laughs> That's yep. what we were talking about yeah. that. Yep. So your hair do, huh? Yep. Well, when his hair is wet, it kind of kinks up, and then we just blow it out, blow it straight out. <laughs>